What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another what to buy on eBay video. I am living vicariously through you guys. I want you all to spend some money instead of me. So I did do some research and I found some vintage loose graded figures. Uh, some really nice ones, by the way, as you can see in this thumbnail. And we've got some loose figures. We've got some trading cards, I think, as well as some CGC graded Star Wars books and some vintage collections. So it's a pretty nice assortment. I've got one channel housekeeping note. I've got the names of the winners for the PSA and SGC graded Star Wars trading cards that I gave away on the channel last week. The three winners are Always Believe 83, Ian Irvine, who is a Patreon supporter. Thank you, Ian. And then Before Vader. So you guys are the winners. I've already heard from Always Believe 83 and Ian Irving with their mailing addresses. But Before Vader, I need you to email me at actionfiguregrader at gmail.com with your mailing address. And I will send your graded trading cards out. If I don't hear from you in the next week, I'm going to draw another winner. So you are on the clock. Please send me your uh, mailing address and I will get those cards out to you. Thank you again for all who participated, and it's not going to be the last. There will be some more trading, car trading cards that I'll give away on the channel. I think I have a bunch at PSA right now, and I'm not going to keep them all. And they make great giveaways because they're really small, and shipping is really expensive, especially for you guys overseas. And I want to include everybody in the world on my giveaways. So let's dig into some awesome items. Buy this or buy that, and we're going to start off with a really awesome oversized Japanese trading card and it's called Luke sizes up the droid and this has got him looking at R5D4 and R2D2 on Owen Lars's homestead back in A New Hope. I've been watching this one for a long time and I've really thought about buying it but I just don't have the money so I'm going to show it to you guys. Here's the back of the card you can see all the Japanese language and uh, the name of the line is Yamakatsu and they are uh, they, they were the Japanese distributor that worked with Tops on these 1977 oversized cards. This one is graded PSA 9 Mint, and it's a beautiful card. This one is being sold by Billy Galaxy, and he is a pretty well-known uh, YouTuber and uh, Facebook kind of personality. He's always got lots of imports, Japanese-type stuff. And this is a card that he's got for sale for $195, make an offer with $11 shipping. There's six watchers on this right now. I've been watching this for about a month, and I was like, I really want to buy this because I love R5-D4. And this is kind of an icon iconic image. I know it's sideways right now, but, you know, Luke is sizing up R5-D4. Bad motivator. Hey, Uncle Owen, this one's got a bad motivator. And I would love to have this one, but I just don't have any, any funds right now. So I hope that somebody picks this up because it's a really great card. And again, it's $195, $11 shipping. Uh, here is a graded VC-143 Han Solo Stormtrooper. It's graded U95, and uh, it's also got the Hong Kong import sticker on the back, as you can see there. So this is tough to find with that Hong Kong distribution sticker and graded uncirculated 95. That's as good as it gets. Right now, it's listed for 149 pounds or 171 US dollars. It's also making an offer. And for those of you in the UK especially, this is a pretty good buy. There's six watchers on it, and I would love to, to, to get that one. That would look really nice with my Bo-Katan with the Hong Kong import sticker. And I think I also have a Shadow Trooper with that same sticker on the back. But anyway, somebody should grab that. That's a really good deal. Uh, next up, I've got Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace Number 3. This is a book I've covered in the past, and typically this is sold for $200.00. Uh, this is the photo variant cover that shows Ray Park fighting Qui-Gon Jinn uh, on the sands of Tatooine uh, in Episode 1. And uh, this is the, the less expensive variant cover. And uh, the, the other cover that's kind of the painted close-up of Darth Maul's face is more expensive. But this is $150 with $10 shipping. I've got it on my watch list because if it doesn't sell and I come into some money, I, I really want to buy this. This is a great buy, in my opinion. Uh, eight watchers on this one, but uh, this is the first cover appearance of Darth Maul, and I believe his first full appearance is either in issue number one or number three, but uh, this is just a great book and uh, kind of an iconic image for those of you that like The Phantom Menace. There's not many of you out there, but <laughs> this is this is a great cover, and it's CGC 9.8 grade. 
Next up, I've got another CGC 9.8. I would love to buy this one as well. This is Star Wars number 44, and this is the newsstand edition. You can see the barcode there in the lower left-hand corner, so this is not the direct edition. Much tougher to find these newsstand editions. And uh, this is a great cover that shows Luke fighting Darth Vader. And this, what's notable about this book, beyond the awesome and you know just timeless cover, is the fact that this is the first time in comics that Darth Vader reveals to Luke Skywalker that he is his father. So again, it's never going to like be a super expensive book. This is just kind of a key issue, a secondary key issue that you know you're you're buying you're buying the cover. I mean, this is just an awesome kind of retro cover and it's a continuation of the Empire Strikes Back movie adaptation. $285 660 shipping. I don't know if it's worth that, but it is the newsstand, tougher to find. I think the direct edition usually goes for about 200 bucks, but uh, you know maybe you watch it and he makes you an offer. But I, I really like that cover a lot, and if it's still around in a month or so, I might buy it. <laughs> so, so hopefully somebody buys it before I do. Uh, here is a Spanish Pac, early Spanish figure for the Imperial Stormtrooper. It's graded UKG 80% with the brand new case style. It's listed for 240 pounds or 276 US dollars. There's five watchers on this one. You can see a little bit of paint degradation on the limbs, which is common for these early Spanish figures. Two lines COO Hong Kong, and it says POC there on the label. So very well labeled by UKG as always. Great, great presentation. But the reason it got the 80s because those limbs have discolored, and that's a common problem with those early Spanish figures. They just t tend to degrade over time. The paint does not hold up. But that is an awesome figure. And for 276 US dollars, it, you know, the global shipping program makes it cost prohibitive for me. But if you're in the UK and you like Spanish figures and you like loose graded kind of foreign variants, this is a great pickup, I think, for 240 pounds. Next up, I got another comic. This is High, uh, High Republic Adventures Annual Number One. This is the standard cover, uh, pretty inexpensive. This might be the variant cover, actually. I'm sorry. This is the variant cover. I've got the standard cover A, but I don't have this cover. This shows Lorna D getting ready to fight Porter Ingle, I believe. And this is the first full comic book appearance of Belzetifar, his charhound Ember. Uh, Porter, I think this is Porter Ingle's first appearance, as well as Indira Stokes. It's got a ton of first appearances in this book. And right now, everything High Republic is dead as a doornail. No one cares about it. But I think that that's going to be the next phase in the 2023 and 2024. We're going to start to see more live, live action content for the High Republic universe. It's $69 plus $15.99 shipping. There's there's 11 watchers on it right now. That's a good buy. That is a great buy. This book, you know, that was probably $100 to $125 pretty easily about three months ago. Now you're going for, let's call it 60% of that price. That's a big buy, I think, it, you know, if you if you believe in the High Republic universe like I do. Um, it's a great cover and uh, certainly will appreciate and value is my guess. I've got a loose figure that is not graded, but this is one of the hardest early Spanish figures to find. This is the Spanish Puck Black Neck Lando Bespin. You can see the black paint on his neck there. Very, very tough variant to find. And I can promise you that this is the Spanish Puck Lando. It's got quite a bit of wear to it, which does happen. You can see the, the blue paint starting to peek through on his hands. Probably like a 70 grade at best, but wow, this is a, I can tell you because I've been looking for this variant myself. I remember a UKG 80% grade one that sold for quite a bit of money. It was, it sold for like 500 US dollars. This one's right now is listed for 330 euros, which is about 326 US dollars plus shipping. There are eight watchers on it and it's also make an offer. So if you, if you're into these foreign variants and, and you want to get it graded yourself, I would get this graded by the way, no matter what the score comes back. It's a very, very tough variant to find. I would love to I would love to buy this, but it's just not meant to be for, for me right now. But it's, it's, it does have some wear, so just keep that in mind. And I, I don't know this seller, but I do see this seller regular, re regularly on eBay. Uh, they always have loose graded figures and mint on card figures. And this is a pretty tough variant to find. It won't grade high, but I can tell you that this Black Neck Puck Lando is an extremely tough variant to find. And I think it's worth every penny of that price. But it is make an offer. So uh, note note that you could probably make an offer on that one. Here's another one where it's a make an offer situation. It's a UKG 85% Hong Kong Solid Dome R2-D2. First 12 R2-D2. High grade. Right now it's listed for 350 pounds, which is about 402 US dollars. But it, again, it's also make an offer. 
And uh, this seller, Character Building 77, always has hot figures. I bought from this seller in the past, as you can see right here, where it says a seller I bought from. I've always been very happy with my purchases from this seller. They always have great high-grade figures, and that's a beauty. That is a really nice R2. Maybe you can make an offer for around 300 pounds and see what happens. Uh, next up, I've got a comic book, and this is a great one. I've covered this one in the past, but what's unique about this one is a CGC 9.8 yellow label. And this one is signed by Addy Granoff, who is the cover artist on this. It's the first appearance, as you already know, of Dr. Aphra and her two droids, BT-1 and Triple Zero. But as you can see right there, it's, it's also signed. And right now it's listed for $549.99 Canadian dollars, which is $403 US dollars, but it's also making an offer. If you can pick it up for about $350, maybe even $375 US dollars, that's a good buy uh, because this book is going to do nothing but go up. Apparently, the Black Series reveal for a, an updated mold for Dr. Aphra was just announced at that uh, kind of press exclusive. I haven't looked into it yet, but I, I've got her first issue, Black Series. But that might be a sign, folks, that Dr. Aphra is coming to, to Disney Plus content. And when she does, I'm telling you, if they do her justice, this book is going to go up. So I would really consider this book. It's got 10 watchers on it, make an offer, and it's signed by the cover artist. Great, great book. Next up, I do have a trading card. This is called Solo Aims for Trouble. It's a PSA 9, 1977 top Star Wars yellow label or yellow border series. This is listed for $104.99 plus $4.95 shipping. Five watchers on this one. I've got it on my watch list for a reason. This is a great card, timeless image, and it would look great with my, I've got a 1977 PSA 9 Luke as he kind of looks over the desert of Tatooine, kind of looking at his future. It's like Luke Daydreams or something like that. But that one's a PSA 9. This one would be awesome to, to pair with it, but it's just not a good time for me right now. So if you're into these early 1977 top Star Wars cards, that is a nice looking card for $104.99. Next up, I've got a vintage collection Wedge Antilles VC28. This is unpunched. The U.S. card back with the Darth Maul offer. It looks awfully mint, and it's listed for $54.99 with $7.99 shipping. I think that's a pretty good buy right there. Here's the back of the card. Great shape overall, probably like an 85 plus or a 90 and uh, in, in really great shape. And so if you're into Wedge Antilles, I don't, I don't think we're gonna be getting a Wedge Antilles you know, reissue anytime soon is my guess, unless we get him in Disney Plus content. So uh, you might wanna consider that one. It's a nice unpunched card. Uh, next up, I've got a couple of Lily Lettys that are graded. I got a UKG Gold. This is the Lily Letty Dull Gold C-3PO. Again, it's graded UKG 75% and it's listed for 350 pounds. It's got 15 watchers on it. Make an offer. I don't expect that one to last long. Uh, Character Building 77 is the same seller there. He also has this one, which is the Bright Gold Lily Letty C-3PO. That one's graded UKG 80% for 395 pounds. Make an offer. And there's eight watchers on that one. So you could, you know, if you're in, if you got deep pockets and you're into these, you know, variants, you can pick up two different variants for the Lily Letty C3PO in one go from the same seller. So that both of those are on eBay right now. Uh, next up, I've got a prototype first shot Sam Wessel Power of the Jedi figure. It's graded UKG 90%, and it's got the updated kind of case style with all the accessories there. Unpainted figure, first shot prototype. And it's listed for 199 pounds or 229 US dollars. There's seven watchers on that, and it's also make an offer. That's a nice looking first shot prototype, modern prototype from the Power of the Jedi series. Uh, next up, I've got a Hollow Cheeks Tuscan Raider graded collector archive services 80%. And it's $5.99. Make an offer. There's six watchers on that one. I would love to have a hollow cheeks. That's the last major variant I need for the Tuscan Raiders. I've recently picked up the long eye tubes. I've got the no COO. I've got the Hong Kong and the dark brown paint Hong Kong, but I do not have the most expensive one of that bunch, which is the hollow cheeks. And I'd also like to get the Spanish pock as well, but uh, that's a really nice looking figure, dark brown paint for that. You can see the hollow cheeks very clearly below the eyes there. That's a tough variant to find, and $5.99 is not too far off a of market. It might be a little high, in my opinion, but, you know, maybe you offer $500. Somewhere in that ballpark is probably about fair market value. Um, I also got another expensive item. This is the SDCC Jar Jar Binks. It's listed for $550 U.S. dollars plus $12 shipping. It's unpunched, um, just some light edge wear, but overall in great shape. 
I think that'll sell pretty quickly uh, at $550. And you could probably get that graded and it would come back at as an 85 plus pretty easily. Uh, next up, I've got another expensive figure. I'm not saying that this is a fair market value because I think this is a little bit high. But this is the Brazilian Glass Leet Darth Vader graded UKG 85 with the brand new case style. And you can tell it's it's the correct saber because the Glass Leet saber is a very thick tip saber, as you can see right there. Uh, that's that's kind of what it's known for. It also has an EPM on the back of the saber. Uh, very common uh, very common thing with that saber for the Glass Leet. But this is the Brazilian Glass Leet UKG 85%, as good as it gets. It's listed right now for 995 pounds or 1145 US dollars with 12 watchers on it. To me, you know, that's probably high. It's probably high. I think ungraded, you can probably pick this up for seven or 800 bucks pretty easily. So, you know, given that it's graded and it's been kind of verified and everything, I think me personally, I'd probably be willing to pay 900 to 950 pretty easily for it. So it's not too far off of market value, but uh, I did receive an offer for 875 pounds, as you can see right here, which is a thousand US dollars. So it's, it's not far off. It's not far off if you uh, make that offer. Uh, for that UKG 85% Glass Leap Vader. So beautiful figure. I just don't have the money for it. Uh, I got a few other graded comics. This is Star Wars Republic number 52 in a CGC 9.8. This is the first cover appearance of Asajj Ventress and Dirge in comics. Dirge the Bounty Hunter. Great cover. It's kind of a secondary key from the Dark Horse years. Right now this is listed for $185, pounds, or $185 excuse me, plus $16.95 shipping. There's seven watchers on it. And you can also make an offer. And uh, this same seller also has the origin of Asaz Ventures, which is Star Wars Republic number 60. Uh, this is the better book. And right now it's listed for $199 plus $16.95 shipping. And it's also making an offer. So those are two kind of secondary keys from the Dark Horse years for Asaz Ventures and Dirge the Bounty Hunter, in case you are looking. Uh, finally, I've got a very expensive item, but I wanted to show it because you don't see these come up very often. This is a CAS 80 plus orange haired Luke Farm Boy. What an incredible item. Beautiful, beautiful figure. And there's the label on it. Orange hair, 80 plus grade. Now it's listed for $3,750, but I did receive an offer from this seller for $3,500 US dollars. Uh, there's 12 watchers on it. I bought from this seller before, Jer Bet. Uh, he's also a watcher of this channel, uh, although I didn't tell him I was going to be showing this on my what to buy video, but you can buy from this seller with 100% trust. I bought from him in the past. I bought a double telescoping Sabre Luke Farm Boy from him. So that tells you how much I trust him. Uh, he's a very well-known collector. And this is a gorgeous example of the orange hair Luke Farm Boy. So if you're into these variants, $3,500 was the offer I received from him. And uh, it's very high grade. You know, if I had the money for it, I would absolutely buy that because I do not have an orange hair Luke. So anyway, just some items that are expensive, some that are less expensive. I tried to cover the gamut and, and not include back-breaking, bank-breaking items. I, I did include some items that were a little bit less expensive for those of you looking. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing if you're new. Thanks again, and I'll be back soon.